Hello everybody, I'm back again. So I'm finally back to do the tutorial to put together these two little um these two little um envelope <clears throat> excuse me envelope uh, embellishments. <laughs> Sorry guys. I brought a bunch of uh I came to my room, I brought a bunch of envelopes. I hope I got the ones that I need. Um, but yes, this is the first one. No, this was the first one that I had made. There, you know there's a glare. I'm trying to keep one in there so it doesn't hit. But this was the first one, and this was using a coin envelope, which is one of these. Um, did I bring a ruler? Of course not. I always forget something, I'm telling you. I only have this one. <laughs> and it is a two and a half by two and a quarter. <clears throat> and then I used, um, and I, you can use any um, envelopes you want. I think these that I used are five and a half by three and a half. So, make sure that glare doesn't show. So you need two of these. Yeah, they're the same ones. Two of these, and then one of these. I did also use these little paper sacks, and that's these. You get these at, um, I think I got them at, at um, Michael's. Just these little paper sacks. You don't have to decorate them with those, but that's what goes there. And then on the inside here, this fell off. This one goes there. Oh, I hope I brought the cheesecloth. Anyways, let's get, let's get going. Let's make one of these, put one of these together, and then we'll start with this one. But I won't I won't um, confuse you guys with that one yet. So I'm going to close this and put it there. So the first thing I did is, of course, distress them. I should have distressed them before. Actually, no, I take it back. Before the distressing, we gotta open the ends. See, I am already messing up. I need to move this out of the way, have more space. Okay. So I am just going to cut a sliver to open those up. You don't have to. I did open them here. I just haven't inserted anything in here. But they're both open. I just, you know, if you're like me, you like a lot of pockets. So we want to make sure we're... It's open. If we don't use it, hey, that's fine. But there's still a pocket in there. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me, move that out of the way. So then after the trimming or opening of the envelope, then you just go and distress your envelopes real quick. I'm using Vintage Photo. I'm sorry I delayed in making this video. It's just so many things going on, as you guys all know. You know, um, but thank God we're good with this uh, coronavirus that is just um, very crazy. But we'll get through it. In Jesus' name, we're going to get through it. So don't worry, guys. Hang in there. Stay at home. And you're good. I guess right now it's just all about staying away from people. Which is kind of not cool, you know? You kind of miss people. <laughs> you miss hanging around. But what can you do? What can you do? But anyways, I'm not going to make it about a, this video about a, the corona. No, coronavirus. <clears throat> anyways, so now that we did this, we're going to put them together. So all I did is open the flaps on both. And what I did is I popped it in there. That's all I did, and they close. And then this flap, I ended up gluing it down. So there is your first part. And you could do so much with these envelopes, like you have no idea. Um, but I don't wanna jump ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and add glue to the bottom because I wanna use that flap, like I said, as a pocket. So, I'm using wet glue for this. I guess you could use a glue stick. 
And the reason why I like the wet glue is because you could still move it around if it doesn't go straight. I think I need to go more in. This didn't happen to me on the first one. <laughs> but of course, it has to happen when you're on camera. And these are, you know, these are not um, thick envelopes. These are, you can use any envelope you want. The sturdier, the better, of course. But these are not sturdy, see? They're not even straight. And that's okay, because you could always do another little trim just to get them straight. And then here... I'm just going to glue this shut. Whoops. I hope everybody's doing fine. Okay, I don't know if you could see, but see, mine is not, I don't know, um, then on this side, I'm going to trim it a little bit more because I don't like that. You can leave it like that. I have to, you know, it, it's going to bug me. So I'm going to trim it and make it straight. I want it straight. Let me bring my trash closer over here. I had my husband um, drag the table over here um, to the room. Because they're watching, they're watching movies, you know, that's pretty much all you can do today. Well, these days. So I told them, you know, I need some peace and quiet. So I'm going to the room. But I, yeah, I needed help with the, with the table. But there you have it. That's your first part. This flap thing, I left it in the back. It doesn't matter. It's going to get covered on both sides. So then from there... You got this little one, which we need to distress as well. Now on this one, I don't think I sewed anything around around it. I'm not going to distress this because I'm going to flip it backwards. And it's going to glue, be glued down because I want this pocket up here so that my little tag can show. So I'm not going to distress behind that flap, just the front. I forgot to bring me my, my tea. All right. By the time I'm done, it's going to be really cold. And then we want to get this edge here. And this one, you open this, you just want to center it where you want it. Now you don't have to glue it now. What you can do is dis um, not distress. You know, decorate the envelope first. At least the front because the back, before you cover this, you want to insert this flap there so that it gets covered. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to add some wet glue because I want to make sure it does not come off. So do that. And then open it up, center it, and fold it. And there you have it. That's all it is to it. And then after you put your pretty paper and stuff, you go and distress these as well. But like I said, you don't have to add this part. You can make your own pocket. Or you can use these baggies. I mean, there's different types that you can use. I just have these. I've been, like I said, I, I moved not too long ago. So I've been moving stuff around. And I've been finding a lot of goodies. So this one, as you can see in the original, I just set it straight after I put my pretty paper on the bottom. And then, you know, you just go ahead and decorate it. 
like I said, you don't have to do that. You can decorate it and make your own pockets. You may not want a pocket in front. It's really up to you. And then, of course, decorate here. This one, I just went ahead and added that paper just so you can journal on there. So here, again, add some pretty paper, decorate it, or you can also leave it for for journaling. And then on the inside, again, after you put your pretty paper, I went ahead and added one of these pockets here. And all I did is just added some pretty paper on the bottom and some the I think it's from my porch prints. I think it's called Grandma's Granny's Attic. Yeah, I think that's the kit I use from uh, my porch print. So I went ahead and add paper on the bottom, paper on here. Got that beautiful image there. And of course I had to add cheesecloth because you know we all love cheesecloth. And then I left it open on both sides so you have to tuck here, tuck there. But that's all it is, guys. Oh, and then just remember, too, when you put your paper, your pretty paper here. Let me see if I brought my, my paper. I think I did. Yep, it's right here. Okay. Let me pull that out. I have a lot of stuff going on. I've been following um, Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. And you know how she's been taking care of her or working on her her little corner in her desk. She's got a lot of uh, um, stuff, you know, that just accumulates a lot of uh, scraps and pages of whatever that she didn't use. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I've been finding a lot of stuff aside of what I had. So I've been um, using it to decorate. And I have stuff that I put together but didn't decorate. So I've been... Right now, I'm in the decorating stage. <laughs> but, you know, once I get done with that, I want to put more stuff together. Where's my ruler? So, yeah, I'm kind of doing... She kind of um, inspired me to go and take care of my mess. So, that's what I've been doing, guys. I think this paper... I must have cut it a little crooked. So, I am going to line it up but i'm going to make sure i see um rachel at roxy creations she just cuts it i have to look under the paper make sure i have it straight she just boom 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 and it's straight you know not me i don't have that gift so i have to put my ruler see like here i don't because i have the guide in my own frame yes i have my guides here so but when the paper's too long no <laughs> So, yeah, she's awesome at doing that. Now, on the very first ones that I had shown, shown you, I did do collaging on this one because I love this kit, which I'm ready to go print it out again. It's really, really pretty. I love floral, shabby, chic um, papers. So, yeah. Okay, the one thing I wanted to share with you or tell you, it goes like this, Patty. Um, was when you put glue on the paper to, um, you know, mat your, your little, um, I guess I'll call it an insert. Um, you just want to put glue only on the edge of it, of the piece that you're going to, um, glue. Reason why is because I don't want you guys to seal your pocket. Now, these envelopes are, you know, they don't have a big opening, but I know some of them are cornered, so you get a lot of space. You don't want to glue that because you want to use the pocket. So just put the edge, leave it alone. Now here, you want to go just to the edge of the envelope. And now you can come around and add more glue on here, which I should have used my glue stick. Why am I not using my glue stick? Anyways. So yeah, make sure your paper's straight. <laughs> and then we place it down. So yeah, that's the only little tip I want to say when you mat the inside. You don't want to put glue here because then your pocket's not going to go all the way in. So there you have it. So see my pocket is open all the way. So just keep that in mind when you're making some. 
you don't want to glue them in. Um, I don't think I have another piece of that paper that I just used. I wanted to put both the same, but okay, maybe we'll switch it to this one. So I'm just going to mat it. I'm not going to um, decorate it, but since I already put the first pocket, I'll put the second pocket. <laughs> um, right there. See, I've measured from here, but sometimes when I do that, it doesn't work. I think I'm good there. Sorry for the noise, guys. I think I'm good there, but if anything, we could always trim it. It's better to be big than small. Move that out of the way. Now there. As you can see, you get the tear, but you have a straight cut. I don't mind it. If you mind it, you can go ahead and cut all around. I don't. Okay, so that's good. So let's distress. Because we love to distress. <laughs> Thank God I got rid of that cold. But my allergies don't seem to leave. Sometimes I uh, think, oh my god, my flu's back. But no, it's just my freaking anxiety. <laughs> my freaking, uh, what do you call it? Oh, I knew I was going to forget something. I forgot my regular ruler and I forgot my, my um, glue book. Something I always, always, let me see, what can I use? Oh yeah, I have this scrap. We'll use this scrap. Let me add glue to the edges. I'm probably not in frame putting the glue, but it's okay. I'm just putting it in the edges. And then again, we want to make sure we get this because we don't want nothing interfering with our little inserts going in there. I guess it could go anyway, anyway, anywhere. So I'm going to put my straight line over here. Isn't that pretty paper? Oh my goodness. I kept hearing people say, um, porch prints, porch prints. I'm like, the hell, what is porch, porch prints? How come I don't know? So of course I had to go investigate. <coughs> and I found it. And she's got amazing stuff. There, I forgot to um, distress there before I put my paper. So there you have it, that's the inside. And like I said, you'll just come around with your little pocket. You can make it a booklet where you have the little papers, you know, you sew on top. A little notepad, I should say. You can do anything with these. But for now, tutorial sake, I'm not gonna go decorate the whole thing. Hey, I don't think I put enough glue in that corner. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you guys could see, but I did not put enough glue. Okay. So there you have it. That's all it is to this. This little um, thing, even if you don't, you could even put it on the inside. You don't have to put it on the front. But um, I kind of like it at the front because, you know, I want to put a tag. And if you put this little furry stuff up there, you know, it, it's not going to work if it's the other way. So, yeah, that's why I flipped it backwards. But, yeah, that's the way you put that together. 
Again, here is the original. And I will be making more um, ideas right now with this coronavirus. There I go again. You know, we can craft and create cute stuff, you know. At least decorate some cute stuff like that and send them to people and say, I miss you. <laughs> so that's that one. So now let's go to this one. Oops. Pop that there. Now let's go to this one. This one again, same um, same thing. But I think I use smaller envelopes as you can see. But it doesn't matter. Let's see. I guess I'll use... See, these are the ones we used right now, and these are the ones that I used for that smaller one. So you can make it with any kind. Even with this one, see? See, there's another idea for the smaller one. And you can just leave that one like that. Or even if you do three instead of the coin envelope, you could add one of those. That's a good idea too, see? Just by playing with envelopes, things come up to your head. And you start visual visualizing things, see? That will be cute. Okay, anyways, enough of that. Okay, <laughs> I'll use the same ones that I used for this one. Again, same same procedure, <laughs> surgery. Sorry, guys. So I am going to grab glue here, and actually, I'm going to put it on the inside, on the up uh, top, I should say. Doesn't matter. Like that. Pop that in there. Let's see if this one goes goes better than the other one. Yep, this, see, this one went smooth, no problem. This one's not shy. This one's going to do what I ask it to do. So there you have it. This one, you could even do a stitch there and you leave it open as a tuck. But actually, I take that back. That's what I did for this one, but I ended up covering it. <laughs> see, I'm all over the place. So this one... This is done. That's it. That's all it is to it. You put your matting paper. Just remember, put the glue here and then on the edge of your paper you're going to use. Here, this is this, but I ended up using lace and um, I backed her on some paper. And then there's another piece of paper behind her and it ended up covering. So you can't really see the flap, but the flap's right there. And so that's what I used as a, a little pocket there. And of course, we opened the ends. And then on this side, again, I went ahead and did, did the matting. This, I bought this doily. It's a digi kit. I'm not sure who it's from. I don't want to say the wrong thing, but where did I put it at? Oh, here it is. I'm trying to say, is it from, from Rachel Creations? I don't know. But it's this, I just cut a piece off and put it right there. And I left it as is. I thought it was cute and needed something. I went ahead and um, shrunk these. Uh, these are seed um, envelope uh, digikit from, I think it's also uh, my porch friends. I just shrunk it down, added some cheesecloth, and that just made it so much better than just, you know, plain. But that's what I did. I just cut that piece off turned it into a little tuck and these are the pieces of ephemera that came with my porch print so those go there here I used uh, my friend Patty made me a bunch of ruffles which Patty I need some more I'm running out <laughs> but uh, yeah she made me some um, ruffles out of fabric and paper and I just went ahead and added this trim on top and I used it used it as a little tuck so you can journal there, and if you don't want people to see it, you've got your ephemera in there. And then again, it's open here. 
I yeah I didn't cover the back on this one why I don't know it needs to get covered um, but you can glue these onto an actual book I don't have a book here but if this was your page you know you can you know glue it down and you know you got that going or you can just um, insert it at the end of a of a page and just you know held by a little paper clip or you know even as it's just a cute little gift like that to give to somebody, you know, just letting them know you're thinking of them, you know, a gift card, you know. So I think these are so, so cute and so simple to make. I'm not going to decorate one because I'm going to be here forever. You know, my mind tends to think a lot unless I was to duplicate something or try to semi copy, copy something. Yeah, I'm a weirdo like that. But if you guys do want to, you know, stay I'm not even checking the hour. Okay, I'm good. But, you know, if you guys don't mind, I can do another video. That's why I haven't done the video to um, these here. I, I'm supposed to do a video um, decorating them. And I have not. I did do one more. Of course. They're so stinking adorable. Like, I'm so hooked on making them. So that's another one I just did. And this one I did go ahead and do some little, um, uh, little, um, what do you call these? Journaling cards? Journal mat? Little mats? I don't know. But yeah, I, I opened the edge instead of the top. So I, that's, that's the only thing I've, I've done with those. See, I have, I went ahead and I was supposed to do this on camera, but of course I didn't. But I just went ahead and picked the papers, but they're all there. Just a different, um, uh, what do you call it? Let's see, I just haven't decorated them. I might turn the camera on when I'm working on these since I was supposed to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, see, these are all uh, pretty much um, ready to be decorated. Oh, this one goes down. So yeah, guys, when I when I start decorating these, I promise I will turn on my camera because these are so cute and fun. I'm trying to do more because I'm trying to do some, um, uh, what do you call it? Some, um, <coughs> you know, pocket sets to put in my shop. And um, so I'm doing, you know, a little, a little of everything at a time, <laughs> but I will get there. See, I started doing these uh, belly bands, just playing with my craft, craft scraps and uh, stickers these are um definitions from the um dictionary from shabby dabby Duda, miss tina so yeah i've been playing with them and just you know trying to use up my scraps i will show you i still got a few minutes i'll show you the the ephemera that i did put together today see this is my bin of stuff that's done <laughs> and then this is my bin of stuff that I have not completed that I apparently you know do stuff and then just make stuff but then I don't finish them see as you can see all these are ready to be decorated and somehow I decided to just not do it these little booklet thingies yeah, I know these have years. This one got a butterfly. But yeah, look at all these guys. Like, really. This one I got to put a lady there. But that's it. So yeah, see, I can go and show you everything. So I decided, okay, I'm putting this in a bin and I am going to finish them. So that's my, I need to finish. And this is my, they're complete. <laughs> and these are the ones I did today. Which this one needs a little tag. I don't have a tag right now. But I do have this little one, see? I need to put a tag in there. But isn't that cute? And it's just using all these little scraps that, you know, I have little... Buck, uh, like this one, a little bucket with just little bits and pieces. I have another box that, you know, I'm working on something, so I print a lot of stuff, and then it just sits there. Look, here's another one. Look at all this. And these are all small ones. And I have more. 
These are the only two I brought out to try to use, to use up. And then I have others that have a bunch of uh, bits and pieces and lace. I need to finish that. <laughs> so I'm trying to do that. Um, Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda has motivated me to do that. So thank you, Tina. I did do these. Oh, I think I grabbed both of them. I went ahead and put that little tag where the hole was going to go. I need seam binding. And then just to journal, I just scraps. This is all about using up your scraps. This one I did make. I'm not sure for what project, but I had made it already and never used it. So that was already made. But then this one here, I finished it. This one, it needs some seam binding. But I had put it together and I only had the little girl. I added the butterfly and this little piece on the bottom. On here, I had the... You know, it was matted. I had the lady there. I just added this little piece and then that. And on the inside, I just stamped postcard. So that one is now ready to be used. This is my favorite that I've done today. And the, this was the first one. This is a recycled envelope, you know, with the big window. Look how it came out. I love it. This is the back. And this is a, um, you know, it's a journaling card. But I love the way it turned out. And this is using an actual uh, envelope that I got on the mail. Then here I just added some pages. I was going to put a piece of uh, lace there, or, you know, trim something. I haven't done I guess it looks like I forgot. But isn't it beautiful? I love it. And I just, I just love that. So this is all I've done today sitting there what in the last hour this I found other stuff that I have completed but I need to shut up because this video is going to go into two more videos and we don't want that so I will see you guys on my next video you guys take care god bless bye